Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K. And this is the first half of February 2020 spiritual reading for Taurus's sun, moon, rising, male or female, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, however it may apply to you. All right, I'm going to start with the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Dorian Virtue, and then I'm going to clarify those messages uh, with the Gateway Oracle deck by Denise Lynn. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Taurus I'm reading for during this general reading with clearly defined messages and spiritual advice. I'm going to be doing a Celtic spread. So, Taurus, in the beginning of February 2020, you will feel energies of gratitude or will be able to use the energies of gratitude to show others that you are grateful to have them in your life. Notice and appreciate your blessings because as you do, God is going to provide you with more gifts. God, spirit guides, your angels. Now in the thoughts position, look at this. We've got a lot of joy. We've got a lot of family and friends here. So there is some form of moment that some Tauruses may be celebrating. Um, that is that they're or that they're thinking about. That is bringing them into a journey of greater joy in their life in the first week, maybe the first week and a half of February 2020. Now, in the foundation of the Celtic spread, we have devotion. So the advice from spirit, Taurus, in the first half of February 2020 is to fully commit to your values, your relationship, uh, your relationships with others, your relationship with spirit. So spirit can give you the signs and synchronicities you need to guide you into that path of joy and gratitude. In the recent past, oh, so it could be that by the very end of January 2020, we are at about the 27th today as I filmed this. Um, some Tauruses already know what it is that they're passionate and excited about. And it could be that as you enthusiastically move towards whatever it is you're passionate and excited about, you receive some form of gratitude, which brings you joy, which helps you to maintain the devotion you are putting towards a joyful future starting in the first half of February 2020. So by the second week of February 2020, we have a Taurus who is being guided to just, you know, not allow yourself to be tied to the past. Don't allow yourself to get jumpy is what I just heard. But instead, continue to give thanks to those of you, whom you who those whom you've been connecting with that bring joy to you, that you bring joy to in the first half of February 2020. By the second, going into the third week of February 2020, in the actions position, Taurus, you have home. So when it comes to home and family, the advice is to trust and follow divine guidance in a very patient way. Give gratitude to those whom love you and devote yourself to whatever it is and however it is that you're creating joy in your life. Are you building a future in the area of your job, your career, your home, an apartment? You know, what are you creating for? It will come and this joy will even evolve more in your energy as you patiently devote yourself to putting one step in front of the other in the first half of February 2020. Look at this spirit in your spiritual guidance position is offering you the energies of trust Knowing and understanding in God, spirit, guardian angels, whatever, um, that spirit is going to be giving you, again, signs and synchronicities. And they say, they're saying trust in those signs and synchronicities. Remain patient and focus on that which brings joy in your life. Not the opposite, right? Devote yourself patiently to creating uh, success in some way and give gratitude, again, to those whom help you uh, to yourself. Because I just heard that someone here is making a change. Now, this is interesting. In the hopes and fears position, we do have someone hoping or fearing a situation whereby there are children involved in the first half of February, maybe more closer to mid-February of 2020. There may be a question this Taurus is having within themselves about, do I want to devote myself to creating a life with another? Do I want children? 
Uh, children may be involved. We do have a feminine energy here with the child at the center of the read. Thinking about family, thinking about friends, uh, enthusiastically, passionate about maybe helping children or connecting with someone who has children in the first half of February. For others of you, you know, maybe you're thinking about having children, you're thinking about your grandchildren, you're thinking about your future and if you want children. So do you want that or are you fearing that? What Patiently contemplate if you want to devote yourself to the situation. Because Spirit is saying we want to guide you in a divine manner when it comes to your home. Remember to trust in Spirit and give thanks to the beautiful, joyful things in your life. For some of you, I cannot ignore the fact that we've got children here and we've got a miracle in the outcome position, representing mid-February of 2020. Ooh, and on the bottom of the deck, we have mother. I open my heart to this motherly energy as I figure out, do I want to devote myself to a situation whereby I can eventually have children, work with children. For a miracle is coming my way as I patiently devote myself to creating joy in the area of home or family. For some, not only your own home and family connections, but also uh, home and family connections of others who maybe need some help. All right, so I just shuffled the... Uh, Gateway Oracle deck by Denise Lynn. And so for clarification, in the first week, week and a half of February 2020, um, there were some thorns holding this Taurus back. But now, Taurus, you're going to be feeling a lot stronger. See, the light is shining in and you went or are. Some of you have the ability, if you so choose, to see the light of your truth, the highest, best part of you, what makes you God's child, a wonderful star. Where you have, will have the energy to break through barriers and receive gratitude, uh, kind words and messages from others. Or again, as you're breaking your barriers and stepping towards joy and happiness and recognizing wonderful things transpiring because of your devotion to whatever that is, you are going to break whatever barriers may have held you back in the past. So. In the thoughts position, we have planting seeds. So the seeds you are planting, I feel like in the whole first half of February 2020, for whichever Taurus energy I'm reading for during this general reading, it's the seeds, the ideas, the goals, the intentions, the excitement for the future that you are wanting to manifest that are going to bring you joy. And some of you may recognize that you're receiving a gratitude for your efforts in the first week or so of February 2020. And that's going to bring you energy of this joy. So in the foundation, we have devoting yourself, coming into power because you are fully committing to your values, to your relationships, and to God so that you can get clear about what you want to create next. Some of you are going to be feeling in your foundation very uh, powerful, able now to devote yourself confidently and boldly to your future because you now know that you want to devote yourself. You're coming into your power and recognizing that for some of you in the first week and a half, for some maybe the first two weeks of February. You now in the past, uh, there was uh, spirit guiding a Taurus to have enthusiasm about their future and to accept what was. What was and what now can be. Because you can break barriers in the first half of February 2020. You can plant new seeds and come into a beautiful power if you'll devote yourself and give thanks to uh, Spirit for helping you to create joy. And I feel like this is joy through another or other people. So in the actions position, we have home and cultivating prosperity. So you're thinking about the seeds you have planted. They're making you feel very joyful. You're giving, you're giving or receiving gratitude with and to others or spirit. And this is helping you to break old barriers, to now step into who you were meant to be and to, um, shoot. I put that in the actions position. Let's put it where it's supposed to be in the foundation of the first couple weeks of February. Patiently 
you will start to recognize that you are cultivating prosperity through your ideas, through whatever it is you're devoting yourself to. And in the options position of home, really, Spirit's saying, go with the flow of the universe. As you plant joyful seeds and devote yourself to breaking old barriers and giving thanks to those who help you or you helping others, as you go with the flow, you'll start to see signs and synchronicities, maybe by mid-February for some of you Tauruses, and that spirit trying to help you to trust and have faith that you can now move forward and mend old bridges. Heal rifts, heal yourself, plant new seeds, and remain patient as you will come into power in some way, as you break barriers in some way, you will be able to cultivate prosperity. Now, prosperity can be um, stability in the area of emotions and spirituality. It could be that if you're working on something or you're thinking about devoting yourself to planting seeds, maybe in the area of creativity or finance, you will be cultivating a result quicker than expected. So in your hopes and fears position, we have, again, children, a situation involving children, thinking about children and or your childhood. And then we have hearing messages from spirit. So spirit is definitely guiding someone to get to the truth of a situation involving children. If you want to have children, you know, be patient and know that as you continue to devote yourself, you will. And go with the flow. Things are turning out beautifully. Because, look, we can't ignore the miracle in the outcome position representing mid-February of 2020. Whatever seeds you are planting, you're watching things cultivate that are bringing your jo you joy. You're receiving a lot of gratitude because you're devoting yourself, right? And you're coming into your power. Go with the flow. Be patient as you cultivate prosperity and mend old bridges as you trust in spirit that uh, spirit is assisting you from whatever you are wanting to manifest, whatever you are devoting your time and effort and energy to. A journey, an opportunity is going to open up and it's going to feel like a miracle. Because you guys are putting in the effort, you are receiving gifts from the angel. Share yourself for this process of helping others is helping this Taurus to evolve to a higher spiritual level. Open your heart to love, which is about patience and kindness. For as you embark on a new adventure or new ideas, you're going to be savoring the pleasure of the fact that you have and what you're working on is exceeding expectations. You are obtaining on the bottom of the deck some form of ancient wisdom, something we all eventually learn, recognizing that Spirit's giving you a new direction with this cup, overflowing with peace, joy, abundance, as you rise above with beauty and grace, as you launch a new journey. And on the bottom of the deck, we do have Mother. So again, if you're wanting to be a mother, you're hoping for someone to have a child or get pregnant, that's a big possibility in the first half of February 2020. Some of you may be thinking about your mother or wanting to share some form of information with your mother. There's a lot of optimism here. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to close by pulling one card from... The Wisdom of the Hidden Realm deck by Colette Baron reed for this Taurus, please. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, closing message. I've seen this card a lot for people. The Wise Woman of Wonderland, number 21. Two is about, I'm contemplating a new direction. One is Spirit saying, we will tell you when you take the first step. In the meantime, compromise with yourself. What is it that's holding you back? Move forward with integrity. What are the seeds you are planting that involve energies of integrity? For now is the time to flow and to let go, to go with the natural movement of where spirit wants to guide you. For there is a very spiritual transformation, like I said, happening for someone here. And you're being guided to remain patient, like they talked about before, 
and listen to your intuition. Receive assistance if you need it. Do not try to control another or others in the first half of February. But instead, research the details until you have a clear vision. And that's what Spirit's trying to bring is a big picture view. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you and you would like further information about your own personal energy, I offer a one-month, three-month, six-month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the New Year special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very, very much to those of you whom have donated Take care and God bless.